Hello crafters! So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna paint on these sticks. These are the stirring sticks that you get at Starbucks or any coffee shops. So get a bunch of them. It's actually pretty cool if they're different. I think I've gotten them from many different uh, places, not only Starbucks. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, take out your glue gun, heat it up and lay these guys out flat and even. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of these stir sticks and apply one here to the bottom and one over here to the top. So over here, as you can see, we have really nice canvas, if you will, out of our stir sticks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the excess. Whoops. And perfect. First step is to take your uh, palette. I have purple, black, white, and blue. And the very first step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a very light blue. And that would be our base. Divide the canvas into thirds. So if this is one of the thirds, right? right? And um, let's do maybe like a dome right, right, right over here in this nice light blue. Now for the bottom, let's go for purple and white. I like mixing off to the side and not right into one of the colors because this controls the paint better. So light purple. So at this point it's going to get a little bit messy, so please put some kind of paper under your canvas, uh, under your stir stick canvas. And uh, take a sponge, I have a sponge over here, curve one of the angles, trying to make it not too angular. Perfect. Now let's go, first I'm going to mix the paint with brush, it's a little easier to do. So darker blue, this is again for the sky. A little bit of white, but mainly this is darker blue. And some water because it's easier for the sponge to pick up the color if it's a little more diluted. Okay, should be good. Okay, get it on there. And what we're gonna do now is the corners. Well, this is gorgeous I love how it looks the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and add black into that same blue color that we just had before and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of purple too so it's kind of like a dark bluey purple this is still for the sky perfect you can use the same sponge And only the very, very corners get this darker shade. And over here where the horizon line is, just a little bit darker too. Amazing. Now I'm going to cut off the sponge. I don't, you can either clean it. I'm just going to cut it off and throw it out. I have over here a nice clean sponge. So now I'm going to take pure purple with a little bit, I had blue on the brush, it's okay. Uh, water it down so that it's easier to apply. Take the spongy and this is for the water. Again, only the corners, so maybe you can hold it down. And the bottom you can do. Okay, now the most trickiest thing I'm guessing is to add white. So for this, I'm actually going to use more of an edgy sponge. Let's see what it does. So dab it a little bit. Don't put too much paint on the sponge. Maybe you, you can even like dab it on the side of your palette or paper so that it's a little less, not too juicy. And now that you have it, let's try to go... Oh, 
I guess this, these are kind of like star constellations. And let's draw the horizon line in white. It can spill over on the water, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of white over here into the water. Almost like um, the highlight of the, the moon. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the fun part. Take a fairly large brush. Uh, I'm not gonna take my largest brush. I have this kind of medium size. It's easier to control if it's wider versus if it's, sorry, if it's kind of like a thinner brush versus when it's a wider brush. But you can do it with a wider brush too. Uh, lots of water into the brush, go into the white, dilute it, dab it, dab it, dab it. Once you have a nice consistency of, I guess, yogurt, uh, you can put this away. Now, this is going to be splatters for the stars. Uh, since I know what I'm doing, hopefully, uh, I'm going to go right ahead. If you want to test it on a paper, or maybe newspaper so that you see what's happening because this is white. Uh, test it out first, go for it. So what you need to do is you need to take a, your other finger, hold it with one hand, take the other finger and actually go upwards onto yourself and this will create splatters at the bottom. See? Over here we have, I'm gonna zoom in, mm -hmm. splatters forming. Okay, I'm gonna do more. And I'm going to do them everywhere because water has reflections of stars and of course the sky has just stars. And of course periodically take more paint. Okay. I think this is it. I think this is great. Now let's wait for it to dry. It will because uh, the splatters are pretty watery. It will take some time for this to dry. This is acrylic. Um, give it, I don't know, you could, you could actually need almost a day. Uh, I'm going to use a hair dryer to dry this a little faster. Okay, now that it's dry, take a small brush and get black color onto it. Fairly watery so that it's easy to make nice straight lines. The first line we're gonna do is the horizon line in black. So start maybe somewhere over here. This over here can be pretty thick. Over here in the, in the center, of course, it needs to be as thin as you can possibly get it to be, which is a challenge. So what we wanna do is we wanna have trees over here and over here, but as the perspective grows, the trees go taller and taller. So to do that, we need to start drawing the lines of the tree trunks. So there's one over here, very tall. There's another one. Try to space them out and maybe some of them can be taller, some of them can be shorter, but overall it needs to pretty much go into the dot. Okay. Same thing on the other side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create these triangular kind of feathery things because these are evergreen trees. So I'm basically painting lines coming from the trunk downwards. Okay, so I'm very happy with how it's turning out. The very last thing we need to do is of course the reflections in the water. Uh, to do so, we need to basically add purple to black and even a little bit of white so that it's not too dark it's kind of dirty purple and we're repeating everything that we've done up on the top so same lines so just some lines and now filling it out of course mirror image guys right So what I'm going to do, the very last, is I'm going to take pure white 
And I kind of want to bring back the horizon line, even if it kind of blends with the black a little bit. Yeah, it will. Just so that it's a little sharper. There we go. And over here, a couple of more strokes of the reflection in the water. I hope you enjoyed. This is a very fun, easy, quick tutorial you can do with kids. Of course, you can do any image you want. It doesn't need to be this landscape. It's just a fun canvas that you can get anywhere pretty much and glue it together. Thank you so much for watching. Please like my uh, videos and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And again, thank you so much. Bye.